If your heating's not working as well as it should be, and you notice that your boiler's pressure gauge has dropped into the red, it could be that your system's pressure needs to be topped up with cold water from the mains. And this is a quick and easy job that you can do yourself. It's important that you don't carry out any of these steps while the boiler is on. So the first step is to turn it off. You then need to identify if your boiler's got an external filling loop or an internal filling loop. An external filling loop looks something like this, with one or two valves connected usually by a flexible silver pipe. Now to let cold water into the system, if you've got one valve, you just need to turn that until you hear cold water trickling through. If you've got two valves, open the first valve and then gradually open the second until you hear cold water trickling through. You then need to watch the pressure gauge until it hits the optimum, which is 1.5, and tightly close up any valves you've just opened. If you don't see that silver hose, it could be that you have an internal filling loop like I do. So, remove this tray and you should find a detachable key. There should be a manifold clearly visible with two symbols on it, open and closed. Push the key in here and twist it firmly to the closed position. Next to this, there should be a small nut. Turn this anti-clockwise and you'll hear cold water running into the system. Once the pressure valve reaches 1.5 bar, tighten the nut. Then remove the key. It's normal to have a few drops of water here. Then reattach it to the tray and fit it back into place. If you add too much pressure to your boiler and the pressure gauge is up in the top red section or above 2.7 bar, then just bleed a little water out of your radiators to get back to the optimum, which is 1.5. If you're having to repressurize your boiler more than once a year, you should call out a heating engineer as you might have a leak inside your system. To find an engineer near you that's passed our rigorous checks, visit trustedtraders.witch.co.uk.